It's been a while since I last made a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh video, so I thought I'd splash her a little bit and uh, today do a Star Pack extravaganza. And of course the uh, splash out comment is quite tongue in cheek here because this all cost me about four or five pounds overall. Um, so in front of us we have the 2014 Star Pack kind of introduction kit thing they made uh, around the time of Zexel. And I've also bought for um, V-Rain Star Packs. I've not actually watched V-Rains, but uh, these were really cheap. So, you know, I thought, hey, let's crack some of these open. So, uh, I'm going to open both of them. So we'll start off with this, which, as I mentioned, is all Zexel based, although it doesn't really see so uh, on the front. And as it says there, you get Sten, uh, Sten? 10 star card uh, cards, a binder, which is the main reason I bought this, and a kind of uh, bit of a gallery thing. So on the back we've also got some of the other monsters um, used in that uh, era. Now I don't really remember these guys, they I remember, I think they're quite good synergy together or whatever, sort of, as a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards do, because they kind of tend to pertain to sets. Anyway. Let's see if we can bust this open. Now, I have opened one of these before because I went to see uh, Dark Side of Dimensions, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, in cinemas a couple of years ago. And uh, they were giving out a free... They gave out a um, gold rare obelisk, the Tormentor. And uh, they also gave us one of these. So, uh, hang on. Right, so... This is the binder, which is quite nice. Um, you know, I mean, I could have bought a nice binder or ever, but I don't have that many Yu-Gi-Oh cards, to be honest. So this is just perfect for me, because I haven't even filled my first one yet. Uh, so let's go, oh, hang on. the cards are still in there. Uh, put those off to the side for a second. So we get uh, that kind of, um, it's actually too big for the camera. But it's kind of a um, poster showing everything in the star pack. Uh, I'd quite like to pull some number cards. Numbers are quite nice. Um, I've watched most of the anime. They obviously played quite a large part. Um, we've also got that uh, C39 Utopia, like Chaos Utopia or whatever. I can't quite remember his name. It's a very really nice poster actually. And I can't remember his name, kind of vaguely his appearance rings a bell, but I'll be honest, I don't remember his name. Um, if you do know, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, the uh, 10 star, star pack cards. These are all Zexel themed, so... Ooh, okay, actually they're... So they're kind of five each, I guess, each way or whatever. And I think um, so the whole thing with star packs is that, well, one one in every pack is a uh, star foil, but I think this is... Okay, right, so... Uh, I think that's like a spec... Whoa, no, okay, is it just... Okay, well, we'll, we'll start like this then. Uh, right, well, we have a Daybreaker. Not a card that I particularly remember. We ooh, we have a Rocket Arrow Express. Um, now I know there's some Gallagher. Uh, is it no? Is it Gallagher? Um, I can't remember. There's a Konami franchise. Um, in which case, in which some of the ships from that game actually appear in the card game, which is really cool. Ah, Gaga -ga Gardener. Now that's a card that's very, um, very reminiscent. The Gagaga -ga cards are pretty cool. Gagaga -ga Cowboy, I think, was one of my favourites. Ooh, okay, we have Twin Photon Lizard. Very nice. Uh, no, that's not a star foil yet. Okay, next up we have a Reverse Buster. Uh, not a card I remember from the show. Okay, aha! Ooh, yes, we have. Ah! Oh, ho ho! Ah, oh, that's fantastic! Number C39, Utopia Ray. There we are, yeah, so this is the, um, the sort of powered up version of Utopia, basically, which is what. I can't remember his name, but the main character from Zexel uses 
Oh, that's fantastic. That's actually the card I kind of wanted out of this because uh, one of my friends came with me and he managed to pull a C39 and I was quite jealous. Our next card is a Photon Lizard. It's really nice art, actually. Um, yeah, very cool. So I think these are going to be star foils now. Yo, we got another number. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Mellow Melody, the Brass Gin. Ah, there we are. So that's one of the... Um, that's one of the cards. Is that a star foil? Yes, it is. So I don't know how well it comes out on camera. I can't quite make it out, but this is indeed star foil. It has little stars and stuff on it. Uh, ooh, yo, we have a mat. Mat art, art. Well, that art is pretty cool, actually. That's a uh, cool looking guy. You know, that that's one thing I really do like about Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't collect it much, but like the art is always phenomenally like anime and over the top. And our last, uh, our last card is Xyz effect, also Starfoil. Uh, so that obviously effects Xyz summoning and stuff. I'm not going to bother uh, taking the time to read it because I've got to read it through a very small screen and uh, that's just going to be painful for everyone I think. But gotta say, very, very pleased with that. I think I have a uh, number 39 Utopia. So that's very nice. That's going to go with my uh, other collection of Star Park um, Zexal things. Right, I'm just going to um, move everything over a bit and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and slightly zoomed in now because uh, we're not actually dealing with really massive things anymore. So I've got four Star Packs from V Reigns. I've not actually watched any V Reigns. Um, I really like his design. It's like it's it's ridiculous and over the top. But um, so I don't know what cards to expect or anything here. I know they're like pendulum summoning. I think is what V Reigns is all about. So I um, I was going to bust into these basically, kind of a bit with the last one. There's three uh, cards in the pack. Two of them are regular and one is Starfoil. And I believe. Every card can be Starfoil as well. Basically like Reverse Hollows in Pokemon. So we begin with a Black Linker. Wow, that, that's some pretty... That looks like a really weird Possessed Robot Rayman. Um, if that makes any sense. Next up, we have a Draconet. Yo! I'm really liking the design of these monsters so far. I may, uh, may have to actually just... Get on to V Reigns and our Starfoil is a uh, sniff Sniffer Dragon. So I said Snifter for a second then. Because um, in the UK, a Snifter, Snifter of Port or something, is a small glass of alcohol. Man, the Starfoil is actually quite a lot nicer on these ones. Uh, unless my Sexal ones just weren't getting the light very well. But man, that's some, that's some pretty cool artwork. I'm really liking the kind of slightly futuristic aesthetic to uh, some of these monsters. So let's open up the next one. Uh, these are first edition as well, which is nice. Although I think in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh! first edition isn't as crazy or anything, because I think all of my movie pack gold cards from Dark Side of Dimensions are all first edition and I don't think that has much meaning. I think they just make it unlimited after a certain amount of pressings. So we have Altergeist Protocol. Very nice. That's a trap card for, I assume, Altergeist be uh, monster or something. Ooh, yo, we have Honeybot. Okay. Very, very cool, actually. That's, uh, so is this a... Oh, so it's a Link monster. Okay, sorry, so I just had a uh, brief thing. So yeah, use two Cyburst monsters. So it's a kind of little bit like um, XE summoning then, I suppose, or something like that. Oh, and we have a Starfoil version of Draconet. Very nice. Uh, yeah, a kind of abstract bird thing, or a weird cyber version of Evil Tal from Pokemon X and Y. Okay, third pack. Um... Yeah, come to think of it, I'm not really sure what I'm expecting from this. I guess more Link monsters? Maybe like... Maybe that thing there? Or that massive beast in the background? That absolute unit? Or um, 
whatever that is, that's a pretty cool magician card, probably. That uh, seems to me like it'll be some kind of odd magician card in the same way as like Gaga Gar magician and stuff. So we begin with a trickster, tri yeah, tr a trickstar lily bell. Very kawaii. Uh, okay, 800, 2000 defense. Back in the old days, that was a pretty good defense. I'm sure the effect makes it even better or worse, or I don't know. Uh, we have a dark angel, and that does indeed look quite. That looks a bit like um, a character from Sonic Adventure uh, Chaos. Or maybe I'm wrong. And our star foil is the Goki rematch. Okay, so they, they want a rematch of sorts. That's very nice. They're manly and hanging out with each other, supporting each other. As indeed we all do in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, which I'm not a part of. Um, I don't think I make Yu-Gi-Oh videos anywhere near enough to uh, do that. Also don't play the card game really, or indeed collect anything. I think the last set I bought was... Uh, I bought the Kyber and Yugi 2016 tins, just for the Blue Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician promos that came with it. Ooh, yeah, we got Link Bumper. So, um... Ah, oh, yeah, they've got, like, arrows and stuff, haven't they? Like, you you sort of link it up with different things, and... That's a really cool design, though. I really like that. I don't know, like... Because I don't think these cards have rarities, necessarily. But, like... They... You know, obviously there are more rare cards, I suppose. We have an air-cracking storm. Very nice. I'm not really sure what's going on there. It's like a weird spaceship thing. And our rare is a Capacitor Stalker. Ooh, very nice. So yeah, that about wraps up my video. Um, thanks for sitting through me trying to... Uh, work out what everything was and stuff. Maybe I'll look up what um, Link Summoning is or whatever. Maybe I'll just start watching V-Rains actually because uh, I'm in between anime at the moment and it seems like something that'd be quite fun to watch. So yeah, um, I'll be doing some more trading card uh, videos soon. I have a few Pokemon stuff, I have a few Dragon Ball Super things. So do stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, until next time. Goodbye.